Okay, in this video we're going to look what we mean by a shear with the x-axis fixed. So the point on the x-axis is a fit. What do we actually mean by a shear? Okay, so here we have the point A, which is going to be minus 1, 3. And you can see that's been written in the matrix here. B is minus 1, 2. C is 2, minus 2. And then D is 2, 3. If we multiply that by this matrix here, at the moment it's the identity matrix, we would just get the same image. Okay, so if we click, we'll get the same image. Now, I'm, what I'm going to look at is what happens when I change this here is no longer zero, it becomes a number. I'm going to look at whole numbers. Okay, so if I can make it one, you can see what happens is that what happens is someone's like pushing this point here and this point here gets pushed this way. So this gets pushed this way and below the axis gets pushed in the opposite direction like the top. But the points on the x-axis um, keep the same. These two points do not move. Okay, And this is called a shear. With this case is the x-axis uh, fixed. Now we've got several things that we can think about here as well. Uh, we have a thing called the shear factor. So if I click here, okay, so the shear factor is the distance between the point and its image. So if we take point A, at the moment it's 9 away, okay, and then the point A itself is 3 away from the x-axis. So if we do 9 divided by 3, we get 3. This is called the shear factor. Okay, also notice that the gradient of this line here is one third. You look closely and you can get that by doing one over three. If we move that back to being uh, t two, for example, again, you can see now the gradient is one half, that's uh, uh, one over two, and the shear factor has now become six divided by three, which is two. Now, in order to describe a shear, you must first of all say that it is a shear and then you must say what happens to one of the points. So I'm saying the point minus 1, 3 for example is being moved to the point 8, 3. Okay, and then we also have to say that which axis is fixed. In this case the x-axis is fit. I'll do another video where the y-axis is fixed. Okay, and the general form of the matrix when the x-axis is fixed is 1k01. In this case it's 1, 3, 0, 1. Okay, and you can see that those would change if I, those where it's 5. If we were to make it negative, obviously what happens is the bottom bit goes to the right and then the top bit goes to the left. Okay, and then obviously the shear factor is minus 3. In this case okay so this has been a video to show you uh, about what a shear is i hope you've understood and i thank you very much for watching the geogebra app will be in the notes of this video